Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where we are going to see Javik. And let me make sure everything is working over on my computer or I will cry. Yay. <laughs> Wait, wrong. Oh my gosh, is he freaking? I can't. I don't know where anything is. Citadel embassies. It's a good thing the loading screens are so fast now. <laughs> now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Mm -hmm. I'm really bummed that we can't go with Zaid to that planet. Unless he shows up, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I need to go. But did I do I even freaking I don't even think I have that as 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 like a mission. It's like done. All I had to do was say. Cause the guy was like, just say there's like a I don't know. Maybe I just like reported it, I guess. I don't know. No, I don't know. That was a letdown. Kasumi's was more fun. Hell of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. A dream glimpsed only in the memory shards. The Citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hid here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the Citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. It might not seem like much, but a Prothean is standing on the Citadel alive. That's a victory in itself. Perhaps. When things were at their darkest, we used to tell stories, imagining the wonders of this place. The seat of our empire. The power to sway worlds. The galaxy belonged to us. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. Most of the time. Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Protheum. Okay. Hey, Hannah. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. You're really a Prothean? I am. But... If you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many, there may be no hope. The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being... Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah, come on, buddy. But you are still alive now. That alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. My people knew your kind when you were young. Torian, Asari, Hana. There was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. We are alive and we will fight back. Thank you. That meant a lot. Commander Shepard, it must be an honor to have a Prothean fighting alongside He's you. He's kind of scary. <laughs> He's starting to learn his way around. Javik is one of the best soldiers I've ever seen. The commander is a capable warrior as well, for a human who once lived in caves. Is that a joke? Is Thanks, that going on the joke board? I have enjoyed my time here, walking among the young. The young. I will see you back on the Normandy. I think that goes on the job of joke board, which is up to a grand total of two. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, he's he's really a Debbie Downer, but I think that does go to show, like, he, there's a reason he was a leader of soldiers, right? Like, he's good at, um, we're going to run through here really quick. Uh, he's good at doing the pep talks, you know? Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. I know that there were some people that had stuff for me. So you went back to the farm. We snuck down the hill. We were hungry, filthy. I, I turned the towel into a kind of tunic. They cleaned up the bodies to make more husks, I figured. But there were still farmers alive. 
They were being held prisoner. And Nairo was there, directing the other forces. I could see her. I, I got within ten meters of her. If I just had my gun. What happened next? I got to the prisoners. The farm girl unlocked their restraints, and... That's when they all started screaming. Yeah. Welcome to Serta. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Uh, Thank you for I don't really need it. Like, I haven't been in any situation really yet. Console. Where, uh... Been a problem. Knowles, this is Shepard. I found one of the code locations. Okay, I'll shut it down. Just need to authorize your Spectre status. Someone <sighs> used this to cut off power to a dozen life support machines in the hospital. Okay, that access code is officially disabled. Can you find any more? I, uh, I have no idea what this is a part of. There's so many things. So many things going on. This guy. Did they? Oh, you can't tell. This was the guy, I think, that got his leg amputated. I don't know if we ever heard the conclusion of that one. Dang. Oh, we've got... What? Where? Oh, did I go... Sorry, let me go in that room and make sure... I didn't... So, there's a couple in here that are for the hospital, but I don't think I've picked up what they are yet. Shut up about the console. Let me see. The prisoners were indoctrinated. You think? And once the alarm was sounded? Yeah, Ira's eyes were black. The whole time, not just for a second. I could feel her mind from where I was standing. And the humans were in the way, attacking us. I used my biotics, flung them around. I've been horrified when Naira tore the farmers apart, but God, it's... I ripped them in half. And it felt good. There's nothing shameful about feeling an adrenaline rush during battle. I might have killed more than Naira and those husks did. She wanted them alive, to turn them. And I... And you survived. Survivor's guilt. Okay, let's see if I can... No, okay, I will be coming back in here because I do have stuff that I will eventually get that I can drop off. Um, where is he at? He's over here. Let me make sure. Oh, we have another console here. Baby. Alright, Edie, Jokey, Jokey, Joker. I talk to James. Okay, yep. Alright. Time to go have some fun. Shepard, if you're feeling up to it, I thought we could do something fun for a change. Love it. Shepard, glad you came. Let's go. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting reapers. Oh, it involves it. No. I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. <laughs> I already scoped it out. But then I thought, if this was my last day alive, I'd actually like to remember it. So? So? I had an idea. He does have a lovely voice. I don't blame anybody for romancing him. <laughs> where are we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. Oh, we're little Some hooligans. never change, do they? <laughs> have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard. Too busy trying to live. What's yours? The whole time I worked at CSEC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. <laughs> but I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. And we're probably like, 
like the least um, hooligan-y hooligans. We're not gonna actually break anything. We're not gonna actually do anything. Figured bad. it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. Just Might a little be the last stupid. Chance we ever get. I love this. A little busier than I imagined. How about a dive in the pool? Meh. You obviously haven't seen Turian swim. It's a lot of flailing and splashing interrupted by occasional bouts of drowning. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I just have to save your ass again. Oh! Go for all the times I pulled your ass out of the fire. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos. We've had a hell of a ride, haven't we, Shepard? Yep. Times like these, you know who your real friends are. They're not the ones running around looking for an escape route. They're the ones who stand at your side through the worst of it. We never give up on you. I'm lucky I can say I know someone like that. So am I. My truest You're not friend. Going to propose marriage now. <laughs> <laughs> and now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle once and for all. He already had this not up here. You don't know how to handle a gun. Just saying, some of us know how to make it dance. So let's find out who's really the best shot. I mean, with the people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. <laughs> seemed impressed. They seemed yeah, impressed. But I've actually seen you dance. <laughs> yeah. <Shepherd>. No comment. <laughs> All right, Karen, you're going down. All right, Karen. <laughs> Don't worry. I loaded it with practice lugs for when you miss. Oh my gosh. That was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Long Thanks. Time, she looks I good. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. The throw animation is, is hilarious. <laughs> I said a tough one. Step aside. Step aside, boy. No. Do it. We want an honest competition. Nobody alive, maybe. But <laughs> I died. I yeah, died. <laughs> throw in a herd of rampaging clicks, and that's how you separate the rookies from the pros. Okay. <laughs> See, this that was the best one, right? Where he just takes you out, like, doesn't want to talk about, like, we talk a little bit about old times, right? But Garrus is really the one who's been with you the whole time. Like, Liara and Caden were both gone in Mass Effect 2. Um, Tally's with you, technically, but at this point, we don't have Tally. So. And she joins. She joins pretty late in Mass Effect 2. But that's not her fault, really. Um, but no, that is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He went off planet to try and make money with a lousy crowd a week before the reapers my brother sent me this excited message he'd found an organization with lots of pay benefits he snuck me a photo of the shiny new armor they gave him white and yellow armor Bam. yeah but no Gary, see like i don't know like liara's was like reminiscent and kind of sad and cadence was like an attempt to be reminiscent and sad also. And like, I don't know, Garrus is just there for you. And I think actually, unlike Liara or Caden, why are the Turians always walking up to me and staring at me like that? Um, you cannot romance Garrus in three unless you romanced him in two, I'm pretty sure. Which maybe is another reason that I'm like legitimate. Like I can be myself around him. I don't have to worry about the relationship changing, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't, I don't have to like, feel like I'm walking through a minefield. I know he's there for me. Like the way Shepard says it, right? Like he's there for me no matter what. And he has been. And like in times like this, like to have that history means a lot. Knowles, I found another spot where the Batarian codes were used. Holy crap. These are the remote navigation codes. Last week's crash at the docks, we thought it was an accident. Shepard, there were 117 Alliance soldiers on that ship, all human. Just like the patients at the hospital. So we've got Batarian codes and someone with a grudge against humans. Looks like. Okay. This code's offline now as well. Should just be one left, Commander. Well, let's finish this while we're here. 
Bailey, Joker, yeah. Oh, a console. Oh, that makes sense. Because I think this is the one I think it is. Then we're going to have a showdown in the docks. In the refugee area. So it makes sense that the last one would be there. Make sure I go to the right spot. Where is it? One moment. The docks holding area, not the docks Normandy. I need to get that, get that through my head. The Normandy docks are labeled Normandy. <laughs> and the console was by James. Oh, let's see. Oh. Hey, it's you. Still waiting. Would you stop? Any news? No, but they promised, right? We'll get here soon. I'm sure they will. I'll drop by later to check in on you. If that's okay. Okay. Oh, we just heard Rex. Was it the other one? Hi, Zaid. Who is a disappointment to me? Puzzle. Is it? No. State arms. Oh, is it the. Oh, because as James moved, he has. Okay, he's moved over by the card table now. And I'm. Yeah, the showdown happens down here, so that makes sense. I know, I know. Meh. You don't have to say anything. <laughs> I'm about to make my comeback. Uh-huh. That's what they all say. Uh, yeah, also, James, I, need, I might need you for backup here, buddy. Knowles, this is where the last access code was used. What's that, Commander? I'm losing your signal. Oh, no, it's a trap. It's a trap. Captain Gahero Balak. Batarian external forces. I've been waiting for this. Everything that has happened to my people is your fault. Uh, no, but I understand why you think that. I didn't destroy your people, Balak. The Reapers did that. We were a proud race. A beautiful race. Have you seen what the Reapers have done to us? I'm trapped on this citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped Council transmissions. I am the highest ranking military officer left in the hegemony. And I oh, can't dang. save my people. But I can end you. I remember at one point I did say that I wish um I don't know. I'm not I'm not so worried about it now, but I feel like this is one of the altercations that you have when when I first played that I was like I kind of wanted to just like shoot him or be renegade about it. And, but I was like, no, I'm not going to, like, you know, because I feel like Shepard is a better person than I am, like I said, and, like, that, like, um, but also that, like, she can solve things, like, by being a good person, and that it's nice to play, to be, to play as a person who can solve things by being a good person, you know? And I remember somebody got in the comments and was like, you should play it how you want, like, however, however you, you want to, whatever button you want to click, whether it's, like, shooting someone or being angry or whatever like you shouldn't restrict yourself or something and i was like well for one thing in mass effect that's not really how you play you lose out on um, paragon and renegade actions like this like conversational options if you try to play like a middle ground which is one of the big flaws of the paragon renegade system is that there's no middle ground right and i recognize that but also i was like honestly i feel like I, in real life i am a good person for the most part you know especially back then where i was like bushy like you know like what brad adam bushy tailed or whatever you know and it's just like you know i even if i my initial this is what i said i think my even if my initial reaction is to be angry i would like to think that as a good person i would take a step back and i would respond in a more paragon manner right um so like even like i, I don't want to necessarily follow my knee-jerk reactions i don't think my knee-jerk reactions are necessarily even who i am as a person you know i'd like to think i'm a better person than a lot of my knee-jerk reactions are you know um, and so that was, that was my whole defense of it. Not that I needed to, but I did, I was like, I was trying to kind of think about it out loud and explore, you know, on text and I was like explaining it and I was like, yeah, like I'd like to think I am a better person than just pulling a trigger because I'm angry or whatever, you know? So I like to role play someone who can save the world by being nice. <laughs> Balak, you sent that asteroid toward Terra Nova to help your people, but what does killing me accomplish? Vengeance. 
The Bahawk system, what? They would have died anyway when the Reapers showed up. You know that. I am uniting the Krogan and the Turians. We're the best hope for this galaxy. If you care about your people... <sighs> also, there's armed security guards right there. Okay, wow, well, that was easy. Shepard, are you alright? Fine. You won't have any more trouble with those codes. Is that... Do you want me to arrest him? I want you to put a bullet in his head. We're all making some sacrifices today. <laughs> Let him go. So. Respect your authority. Understood, Commander. And thanks. I do like that. Like, even Paragon Shepard is, like, frustrated. You know? It's like... Nice. Like, can't you see, you know, the the greater whatever, the bigger picture here, you know? And nobody likes having a gun pointed, pointed at them, you know? And it's like... So I so I get it, right? Where Shepard's like, oh, I'm gonna put a his head. But she's like, 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 same with me in a way. Like maybe her knee-jerk reaction is to be like to like to vend herself like with violence. But she likes to think that she can actually, she knows that she can solve situations with words rather than just being angry all the time. You know, so. Nice. I like that. <laughs> it really is getting very crowded in here. Like, there's a lot more people. Let's see, I, I know we talked with him earlier. I'm not sure if he has anything else to say. I just need a few moments to myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries, my guy. You do you. That guy's trapped over there. Anyway, yeah, there was, like, armed security guards right there, and they didn't do anything. They didn't have security guards. Uh, I think that's everybody... Let's see, what else? Do I have anything else? That's something I need to pick up. That's something I need to pick up. I can go back, yeah. Uh -huh, pick up, pick up, pick up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I think that's all we need to run around doing on the Citadel. And I do need to tell Dr. Chakwas that the transfer of medical supplies... Was authorized. Oh, I could have gone back to the Spectre no, office and probably and authorized a few more things. It's fine. You're sure of what you saw? Yes, Sergeant. Heard from your brother since then? No, Sergeant. All right, Talavi. I'll see if I can get you fighting Reapers instead of Cerberus. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. You won't thank me so much when you're eye deep in husks. Yeah, well, the Cerberus is kind of husks now at this point anyway. I almost would rather, I think, um, fight Cerberus if I was her to get the opportunity to find my brother, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure she would like to speak with me. Um, but it'd be hard, like, they wear, the, they wear the helmets, right? Like, you would never know. You'd constantly hesitate on every shot. So I get why she definitely, I think it is smarter. I think she made the better decision. I would make the unsmart decision, and I would try and go find my sibling and probably get myself killed and others because I would hesitate. You always pull through, Commander. We've received the supplies from Tactus. Mm -hmm. Everything good? Indeed. We've acquired some very useful equipment. As such, I've been able to enhance the effectiveness of our Medigel delivery systems. I've also collated information that Liara may find of interest. Oh. I'll check with Glenn. Well, thank you. Wow, I am level. I feel like I'm leveling up so fast. Like Omega, I leveled up like twice. Doctor Tassoni found useful information in the data you recovered, Commander. Is it uh, up here? List of recent purchases: thermal clips, bulk purchases, Firestorm fuel, bladeive, eh. rifle parts, discontinued Avenger series, Scotch whiskey. Was it, like, this thing? Med Bay? Oh! If you forgo any cosmic, cosmetic improvements, you will instead get a small booth. Yeah. No, I don't have any scars left. Oh, you know what I do also have? She just gets a health boost and she's like, oh, yeah, my arm. I also could get, instead of Reeve, I could get one of 
What's her name? Arya's abilities. Ooh, because I'm a good person, so I don't have any... I don't have any, um... Scars. But I do wish... There is a mod, and I do think about getting it sometimes, where you could keep your scars, but have the... Have it turn blue. I think that looks very, very cool. I do like Flare a lot. I did like that. I'm gonna get it. Reeve was useful. What? It took. Oh. Wait, why did I get so many? Oops. That. That. Not, I can't. I don't know. I don't know how this game works. It's, just, it's a lot easier to do this on a controller. Why do I have so many points? I think I only had Reeve leveled up to like four times. Did I? No? I don't know why I have so many points. I mean, I know I leveled up again, but I didn't think you got that many points. What do I have? This be nice as an Yes, maybe. This one's a more of an area of effect. This one's also area of effect. This one's single target. I don't know, yeah, and that's single target. So I have two area of effects. Of combo detonations. I don't know. I don't really combo anymore. I used to combo all the time in this game. Maybe I'll increase the impact radius a bit here, and then I'll increase the damage. Yeah. Eh. Yeah, sure. Oh, dang, I don't have quite enough. Okay. Did you see that, uh, Paragon bar is almost all the way full. I'm so good at this game. I'm excited. You can keep purchasing them and just mess around with, with whatever ones you want, but you can't have, like, a gazillion of them, which makes sense. You wouldn't, like, you would only have, like, one, like, barely unlocked, each one barely unlocked, you know? Um, I guess now I need to figure out what we're gonna do. Done a bunch of Citadel stuff, friggin' We just need to run through the galaxy now, finding places to land, and things to pick up, things to scan for, so, how exciting! <laughs> so, thank you all for joining me, I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron, thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Adam, my tree tier patron, who is the super bestest and who I super appreciate your support, my friend. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out. Sorry, my phone's beeping. Extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me. And I very, very much appreciate it a lot. Thank you so, so much. It really is just so much. And I appreciate it. So thank you all again for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.